Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to talk to you about how the priority setting works. So I'm going to create a couple of tasks, task A, task B, I'll do three tasks, so you can see how it works, task C. Now when you create a task, a new task, I'll just put these to one day. The default priority, as you can see there, I've inserted the priority column, is 500. Now, if you double click onto a task, you, you normally would just see it sitting in here. 500, that's the default. If you want to work with priorities, you can do that. Insert the column, clicking OK. Now, if I go into onto the project tab and into project information, you can see that the default setting is set there, priority 500. That's where this is this is coming from. So basically this will run from 1 to 1,000 and 1,000 being more important than a task that's got a priority of 1. Now I don't suggest for one minute that you, you start going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in terms of putting priority on tasks. Normally I would tell my students to go, if you've got admin tasks you could put them to 400 and an engineering task for example to 600. That would give them a bit more uh, of a priority if there was a, a resource clash and you wanted um, resource leveling to fix that issue. So that's what it is. If I click OK to that, I'm just going to change this task to a priority of 600. So in terms of resource leveling, that now makes that task more important. You can obviously sort by priority if you wanted to. Um, you don't need to, if I just go like that, that's going to sort that. It's now messed up the task order, so I'm just going to undo that. It's not necessarily a, a feature I would use that for. But if I now allocate people to these tasks, I'll allocate the same person which is going to make this, uh, these tasks over allocated or the resource over allocated. Now, again, it's not recommended to start typing resource names here because um, you can do typos and you end up creating two bobs. But if I go into the resource sheet, whatever you do type there, it just brings it through onto this resource sheet anyhow. Go back to the Gantt chart. And so I'm just doing this for speed, if you like. Just type Bob three times there, which makes him over allocated. You can see the indicator column there showing him red. Now, if I go to the resource tab, one way of fixing this would be to level everything. Now, what's going to happen when I do that, it will not move that task. In fact, what I'll do is I'll put that first to five or back to 500 and see what happens when you do leveling now. If I go level all, so it's just moved them like that. So the top top task stayed as it was, and then the bottom two have moved across, sorted it out. If I clear leveling, just bring that back, clear leveling, OK. Put that one to 600. Now what's going to happen is that one will not move. If I go level all, you see the other two have now moved. Still resolved it, but because that's got a higher priority, that one has stayed where it was and the other two's moved. So that's basically how you can use priority to force things to move or not move. If I go into leveling options, you've got down the bottom there um, this sort of order. You've got default is standard, so standard, and then you've got ID only, which will just be the one, two, three number, and then you've got force priority to come first. Priority actually sits inside standard. So it's looking at links, um, availability, the priority and things like that standard is. But this is just forcing the priority part of the standard to go first. It's a standard group of um, criteria that it looks at. So that's just forcing that. But default is set onto standard. We'll just count, uh, click OK to that. So I'll just change that. Hasn't had an effect on anything I've done there. Um, if you want to clear leveling, you can do. But that's all I want to talk about in this little video, how you can use the priority feature to force tasks to move against other tasks. So thank you for your time. I'll catch you in the next one.